Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom here and welcome to World Sports Weekly. The Canadian Grand Prix takes place this Sunday, June the 8th. We're headed into the race after the excitement of the Monaco Grand Prix and a bit of controversy following Mercedes teammate Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg. Here with me now to discuss the betting value of the Canadian Grand Prix is SBR sports writer and contributor Richard O'Hagan. Richard, thanks for joining us. Hi Natalie, nice to be here. Now, Nico Rosberg is coming off a win at the Monaco Grand Prix, but it was not without controversy. Do you subscribe to the belief that he decided to tactically break down on the final qualifying lap? And if so, what was his motive? The fact was that in Monaco, whoever finishes in pole position has massive advantage because on that narrow street track, it's really hard to overtake. And if Rosberg didn't do it deliberately, then that is one of the most fortuitous breakdowns in Formula One history. So. It's not unheard of for teammates to fall out with each other. Um, Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost famously did it back in the late 80s and early 90s. So I can understand Lewis Hamilton being very, very upset. Ultimately, it probably didn't change the effect of the, the race because Hamilton actually had to uh, throttle back in the later stages because he started having vision problems, mm -hmm. probably caused by the sheer number of corners that they have to go around on that circuit. So in the end, Rosberg probably would have won anyway, but it's a heck of a way to annoy your teammate. Yeah, well, it's a certainly a unique race course as well. Moving on to the Canadian Grand Prix, looking at Bet365's outright market, it looks like this is expected to be another inevitable Mercedes win. Lewis Hamilton is priced at 1.44 and Nico Rosberg at 3. Which way are you leaning here? I have to say, I think Hamilton will probably win it, although there's technically no team orders in Formula 1 and there's supposedly no preferred driver in that team. I think that they're going to throw Hamilton a bone here and if it... it Rosberg is pressing too hard with Hamilton in the lead. They're going to tell him to back off and let Hamilton take the win. So I'm inclined to bet Hamilton on this one. I can't see Rosberg on, just on a driver-by-driver -driver basis being better than Hamilton around this course, but even though he's a more attractive price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1.44, is. would you take that bet? I think now is a good time to do it because, as I always say, an odds-on bet is still a winning bet. You're still going to get a little bit back. Uh, but Hamilton is going to get a shorter price if he goes well in qualifying and in practice, which I expect him to do. So I would say, yeah, that's probably a, a reasonable price at this stage, actually, given how much he's dominated the, the competition so far. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got Valtteri Bottas, as he's a guy who did very well in qualifying here last year. Will he have another good day, do you think? He obviously likes this, this track. He was running well even in the race itself last year before he started having some mechanical problems that caused him to drop out of the points. So it, it's clearly his kind of track, probably the track that suits him most on the entire Formula One circuit. And he's going well this year anyway. He's in seventh place in the championship. He's only three points behind the reigning champion, Sebastian Vettel. So, yeah, I think we can see him having a good day and I'll be backing him to finish in the top six. OK. And what value bets do you see for the race? I think there's, there's quite a few good value bets out there. Certainly, looking to back who's going to finish on the podium is a reasonable bet because effectively what you're doing is you're picking one person there to finish behind the two Mercedes drivers. So I'd be looking at someone like Daniel Ricciardo, who's gone well so far, to finish there. Always, always a favourite one of mine is the first person to retire from the race, simply because the market always skews itself towards the guys in the little cars, the Caterhams and Marussias, but they usually get around quite safely. They've had lots and lots of practice at running around at the back of the field and not hitting anyone. Then you've got the likes of someone like Pastor Maldonado in the Lotus, who hasn't picked up a point this year, spent most of last year whining about the car he was in then and has been whining again about the car he's in now. I think someone like that who's going to push too hard, going to pick up a nice price around about 16 to 1. So that's always a good value bet to look for. Mm -hmm. And talking about the podium position here, who can we see standing there? I think Hamilton's going to be first, Rosberg's going to be second, and Daniel Ricciardo, I think I've got coming in third here. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Richard O'Hagan, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Natalie. Whoa.